Hey guys, Assalamualaikum. I will group will be presenting on discrete QE Markov chain, which basically touches about the QE model. This model is usually used to measure the efficiency of a queuing system or the efficiency of the service given by a facility. In a queuing system, we have customers and servers, but they're not necessarily human beings. They can be machines, cars, even emails. So let's go ahead and see what a simple queuing model looks like. Given a timeline which has fixed time intervals, our assumptions of this model are during each time interval or we call it time period, if at least one customer is present in a waiting line, a single customer is served. If there is no customer in the waiting line, no service is performed. And during a service period, new customers may arrive. Suppose that the number of new customers that arrive during the end period is a random variable psi n. The data in psi n are assumed to be independent of each other and its distribution is independent of the period given by this. At the start of each period, we call it the present state i which indicates the current number of customers waiting in line for service. After one period, we call it the future state j which indicates the number of customers left in the waiting line after one customer is served and departs plus the number of new customers that arrive which we denote as psi. If there were no customers waiting in line during state i, then state j will only consist of the number of new arriving customers. From the expression of j, we can express it in terms of random variables. To calculate the transition probability matrix, it should be noted that it is not possible for state j to have two less customers, three less customers, or four or five from state i because during each period, only one customer is served. Thus, it is only possible to have one less customer. Or, if the number of new customers is more than one, then state j will have more customers than state i. So, the probability that state j has two less customers or three less customers from state i equals zero. Hence, we can obtain the transitional probability matrix. So, with intuition, if the number of new customers exceeds one at each period of time, that is, the expected number of customers is more than one, then as time passes, the length of the waiting line increases without limit. On the other hand, if the number of new customers is less than 1 at each time period, then the length of the waiting line approaches a statistical equilibrium or a steady state that is described by this limiting distribution. Let us see an example that applies queuing model. In a health clinic, the average rate of arrival of patients is 12 patients per hour. On an average, a doctor can serve patients at a rate of one patient every four minutes. Assume that the arrival of patients follows a Poisson distribution and service to the patients follows an exponential distribution. What is the average number of patients in the clinic? For this queuing system, we can construct a Markov chain diagram as follows. From this Markov chain diagram, we can construct a transition probability matrix. We can determine the probabilities first, such as from state 0 to state 1, the arrival rate is denoted as lambda 0. From state 1 to state 0, the leaving rate or serving rate is mu 0, and so on and so forth. In general, Pij are as follows. For instance, for P01, we know here that J equals to I plus 1. Hence, the probability is lambda I, and since I equals to 0, then its probability equals lambda 0. Following the piecewise function Pij, we can obtain probabilities for the rest. Then, we can find the transition probability matrix. At state 0, when in equilibrium, rate of leaving equals to rate of entering, which means lambda P0 equals mu P1. Then, we can solve for P1. The same goes to state 1, then we can solve for P2. In general form, we can write Pn as lambda over mu power of n times with P0, or substitute lambda over mu with rho. We know that the sum of probabilities is 1, so P0 plus P1 plus P2 and so on equals 1. Substitute P1, P2 and so on into the equation and solve for P0. Now back to the question. We want to get the average number of patients in the system. So we let this average number as Ls, which equals summation of n times with Pn, where n is from 0 to infinity. Substitute Pn with the general form that was obtained in previous calculation. After substituting rho with lambda over mu, we will get the equation for average number of patients. 
By extracting information from the question, we know that the average rate of patient's arrival is lambda equals to 12 patients per hour. The average rate of serving a patient is one patient every four minutes, which we denote as mu, which means there are 15 patients served per hour. The utilization factor is rho equals to lambda over mu equals to 0 0.8. Therefore, the average number of patients in the clinic is four patients.